New faces, old grudges, and bad blood are our focus tonight. We'll go into it in detail inside Ring of Honor. First, a reminder, this is Glory by Honor Weekend in Toronto, featuring the world title showdown between Kevin Steen and Unbreakable Michael Elgin. If it's too late for you to be there in person or see it live as it happens anywhere in the world with internet access, you can order the video replay on ROHWrestling.com. Just log on now for all the details. And for the latest news, listen to our friends Dan, Jason, and John on Live Audio Wrestling, Sundays at midnight Eastern on TSN 1050 Toronto or at LiveAudioWrestling.com. Last week on ROH TV, Rep Titus made a surprising challenge to wrestling's greatest tag team. But the surprise was on Haas and Benjamin. Last week on our Road Rage special from Chicago, we saw how Shelton Benjamin basically won the tag team titles for Carino and Jacobs. Then he and Charlie Haas blamed Rhett Titus for the loss and assaulted him after the match. And they're irritating gits, let's face it. Wait a minute, what is this? Rhett Titus! There we go, Rhett Titus' music, and here he is. And I want the both of you right here, right now in Baltimore. We beat you in singles, we beat you with a partner, we beat you every which way but loose. You gotta have brain damage if you want a piece of us right now. Get this match sanctioned and let's just whip this ass. You gotta be stupid if you wanna fight both of us and you don't even have a partner, you moron. I never said that I didn't have a partner, brother. Oh, from outside. Hey, look, it's BJ Whitmer. That's BJ Whitmer. Looks like he's gonna be Red Titus's partner. Nobody home for the splash. Roll up, two, got him! Oh, wow! Look at that! Oh! No time for celebration. Right. They don't care about anything but themselves. Pay dirt for Benjamin! What are they doing now? Where are they taking? Nigel! Well, we saw this before. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no! Come on! Oh my oh. God, they just did the same thing they did to Jake Briscoe. Oh my goodness. While that tag team turmoil rages, Rhett Titus has the biggest singles match in his career when he challenges Kevin Steen for the ROH World Championship in our main event tonight. Tonight is my first opportunity at the Ring of Honor World title. I've been wanting this since I was a little kid, going to Ring of Honor shows, collecting Ring of Honor DVDs. Kevin Steen, you're looking at the challengers past Red Titus, but the problem is you should be focused, very clear on this face right here, because this is the guy who's going to surprise you and all your little scumbags and take that Ring of Honor world title. Also last week on ROH TV, Kevin Steen, Jimmy Jacobs, and Steve Carino, the group collectively known as Scum, had a confrontation with the House of Truth, and the house seems to be divided. I have some things to tell Mr. Elgin. I have something you need to know as well. But I'm a man of few words, Kevin, so I'm gonna let you say what you have to say. In Toronto, I will have Jimmy Jacobs and Steve Carino, two men I can trust. Roderick Strong's not here, Rhino's not here, Where's the House of Truth, bud? In your hometown, you might have the entire city of Toronto behind you, but it will not matter. Because I, not you, I am unbreakable. I am unbeatable. Because I am Kevin Steen, and I am the best damn thing in pro wrestling today. I was gonna tell you, Actions speak louder than words. Oh! Elgin going after. Steen punches him square in the mouth. Wait a minute, Elgin's holding his own. He sends Jimmy Jacobs. So far. Truth just bailed out. Wait a second. Oh, here's the Roderick Strong. He's trying to pull Roderick Strong, but Strong's having none of it. Wait a minute, Roderick Strong, is he refusing to help? Yeah. These events greatly impact our ongoing Survival of the Fittest tournament right here on Ring of Honor Wrestling Television throughout the month of October. Adam Cole, Jay Lethal, and Davey Richards have already advanced to the finals, which takes place in two weeks on TV. 
Next week, the final three qualifying matches. Roderick Strong versus Homicide, Mike Bondo versus Kyle O'Reilly, and in the bad luck of the draw, for Truth Martini at least, the Man Beast Rhino goes one-on-one -on -one with unbreakable Michael Elgin, and the House of Truth members are taking an every-man-for-himself attitude. At Survival of the Fittest, the random drawing, they pulled up Rhino versus Unbreakable Michael Elgin. <laughs> Hell, even a blind man can see that there's a plot against the house. All this talk about truth, but broken promises and lies lead the way. Now the house, we're family, so I'm asking either Rhino or Elgin. One of you, please step aside and let the other advance for the good of the family. They pay me a lot of money to take people out, but there's not enough money in the world to have me roll over, play dead, or back out of a fight. For two years now, Truth, it's been Roddy this, Roddy that. Roddy's gonna be the world champion. Roddy's gonna be the tag champion. Roddy's gonna be the TV champion. You know Michael Elgin was pretty good when he was carrying my bags, but now, now his head's almost getting as big as my balls. The Book of Truth states, from each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. This is what we need. The man beast rhino never backs down from any man. It's not about Roderick, it's about Michael Elgin. But Michael Elgin, I'm gonna teach you your place. If the house of truth is built around a man like Roderick Strong instead of me, I'm gonna tear it down brick by brick. And I'm confident that everything will turn out just fine. <laughs> It'll be an explosive hour of television next week when our final three survival of the fittest finalists are determined. And we'll see it as it happens next week inside Ring of Honor.